people in Roanoke, Lynchburg, Danville, and other parts of Virginia heading to the polls. City council seats are up for grabs, and in places like Roanoke City, a new mayor will be elected. Now, these positions, they have big impact on local communities, but we don't see the big turnouts like we do for presidential elections. Here at 636 WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joining us live in Roanoke with why these kinds of elections are just so important. Aaron, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. They are absolutely very important, these kinds of elections. But so far since the polls have opened, we haven't seen a whole lot of people out here. Polls opened about 30, 40 minutes ago at 6 o'clock this morning, and we've seen less than a dozen voters at this polling location in Roanoke. To talk more about these elections and just how important they are, I want to bring in WSLS political analyst Ed Lynch. So talk about the voter turnout. It's typically a lot less in elections like these, right? It is. Uh, certainly less than in a presidential election. Uh, uh, the people who will come out, in a non-competitive election where you only have really one party represented and then the independents are the people who believe they have a duty to vote every time, the people with some connection with the candidates, or those people who really are fired up about some of the issues. And to talk about though why these elections are so important because a lot of the issues in these elections really play a role in our day-to-day -day lives. They absolutely do and even some of the national issues become local issues. Uh, look at the uh, the uh, the flap over sanctuary city a, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a national issue issue on immigration, a national issue on refugees. These things come home here to Roanoke, and then you add the, the local issues like education and taxes, economic development, keeping young people around. Uh, there's, there's quite a mix, so people should be coming out to vote. Absolutely, and today the polls are open until 7 o'clock this evening, so head out to your local polling place and vote. We've posted many of those on our, face, or on our website, WSLS.com. Live in Roanoke, I'm Aaron Brookshire, WSLS 10.